Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your outgoing call quality on Discord. This can be especially useful if you want to record your friend's audio or if you are being recorded by your friend for some podcast, live stream, or some other video, and you don't want to sound like you are literally calling from a cell phone. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So this is incredibly easy to do. The first thing you have to do is pop into your user settings and then go to the voice and video section. And before I start changing settings here, I'm going to show you what my audio sounds like right now. So if I test my microphone, and it sounds like I'm being canceled out. Maybe if I turn it down, it's an echoing, which sounds honestly terrible. So what I'm going to do to fix this is scroll down to the advanced tab and under voice processing, I'm going to disable both echo cancellation and noise reduction. Now, if I press check again, as you can see, it honestly sounds like the audio that is coming from Audacity in the video that I've been recording. So this is giving you a more natural feed of what your microphone would actually be sounding like as if you were directly connected into your friend's system audio. Now, let me explain what these features do. Noise reduction is kind of self-explanatory. If I enable that, as you can see, it kind of cuts off the ends of my audio. But if you are in a noisy environment, you might want to use noise reduction to help improve the quality of your audio there. Now, the one that I think really destroys your audio, though, is the echo cancellation. If you're using a pair of speakers, this feature will make it so that your feed isn't being echoed on the call. As you can hear, it kind of sounds like there is no echo, even though my headphones are literally up to the microphone. But if I disable echo, there is a bunch of an echo that you can hear. But honestly, if you are not using a pair of speakers, I don't see why you'd need to enable that. And there is some other options that you can change. First of all, you can enable quality of service high packet priority, which is really just a router setting. I honestly just recommend enabling that just in case you can get a little bit of quality out of that. You can also enable add to a nation, which means that Discord will lower sounds when you are speaking or when others are speaking. But I honestly recommend you disable that because it can really create a lot of conflicts where the audio is ducking from other people. Now, the only other option that I'd recommend looking into is the noise suppression beta. This is more of an advanced technique than what they're using right now, but then again, it might be a bit buggy. So I'm going to do a test of the regular noise suppression right now. If I enable that and turn a fan on low right here, this is what my audio sounds like. And this is what my audio sounds like with the fan on high. This is kind of like if your room was really, really hot and you absolutely needed a fan on your Discord call. If I disable this noise reduction now and enable the noise suppression beta, if I listen in on this, it kind of sounds a bit more natural. There is definitely background noise being removed. So if I turn a fan on low right now, this is what my audio sounds like. Do, 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 do. Now, if I turn a fan on high, this is also what my audio sounds like. Again, a pretty extreme environment and a pretty extreme test. And so I'm just going to disable noise suppression for now because I want my friends to be able to get exactly what my audio is coming from my mixer board and coming from my microphone. So that's it. That's literally how simple it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you out and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.